Hello and welcome, my dear friends. How are you all? So, a good news for extended students as well that you all are being in school. No doubt, after some time, you also means my ninth standard students also. Again, we are going with our syllabus subject SS Social Science and chapter number. 18 wildlife we are fond of animals you know as we have discussed in our earlier sessions and all no doubt you are not uh, in good condition we can say yeah you are not good in convey with the live yeah this uh, all type of videos and this all but the scenario is so so anyhow you have to be with it till Government decides something good for you and obviously I will be the happiest person if you all will be in front of me Especially we are in touch with two years from about two years or so So I would like to be with you. I will pray for that That this calamity ruins over vanishes over and we all be with each other and the whole you know, 9th standard, 10th standard, whatever. And I am planning for you all to be in 10th with the syllabus too. If the officials are permitting me. So somewhat super fast level we are going through in our syllabus. So let's begin our chapter. Chapter 18, Wildlife. So earlier I told that we are connected with animals. Either, you know, the from either also is pronounced, depends upon the teacher, yeah, the teller, yes, yeah, whatever you can say. So, either it might be with domestic one, yeah, wild one, but well, we are too connected with domestic animals, pets, animals, these all things. Nowadays, uh, there is a you know, there is a hobby for the richest people to be with the wild animals as their pet so it's the scenario goes on you know this phenomenon will come and go so let's begin our chapter chapter number 18 again wild life india had a diversified relief and climate we obviously we have gone through the diversified climate season this all in the further chapter uh, with vegetation for access this all things so now similarly yeah similar diversity is seen here in the wildlife in the entire world above 15 lakh spices of the wildlife are recorded on which 81,251 spices are found in India so we can say about more than half uh, to the half of the wild creatures there are seen in India. This includes reptiles, mammals, fish and other insects. All you know which are reptiles, mammals, those babies, those who give birth to the baby. Reptiles used to lay egg and after leg it comes the baby. But mammals are such animals and penguin too, a bird that gives a birth to a baby. Fish and other insects explorations continue to identify other animals found in different forests. India is at sixth position among the countries rich in biodiversity. Please underline this thing. India is on the sixth position. India has less forest over cover compared to that its wildlife diversity is not stable. So India has less forest cover as we had seen in our further above like, uh, this chapter that we are having less forest. Though so we can say compared to that its wildlife diversity is not stable. So our wildlife diversity it can be not it now zoo geography region of india 
zoo where animals are kept. Natural vegetation regions have been divided on the basics of their characteristics. Similarly, a special distribution can be made from animals. Separation we can say. A partition we can say. So distribution can be made from animals. The wildlife of India is divided into nine zones according to the similarities in their characteristics and their existence in any region. These are as follows. So it has been divided into nine zones. As you all know, different kinds of animal need different type of climate, different type of atmosphere. So they are divided into nine zones. Himalayas, Ladakh and dry cold area, forests co cover in the lower Himalayas, highlands without forest cover in upper Himalayas, northern plain, desert of Rajasthan, peninsular plateau, sea coast and Nilgiri. So nine different kinds of zones it has been divided into. Biodiversity study according to this zoo geographical region. Biodiversity. What is biodiversity? Differentiations we can say. Diversity five something. Then we can go and learn through this zones. Nine zones. Yeah, it is called zoo geographical regions. The diversified wildlife of India. Now we are going with the point, the diversified wildlife of India, the vast alluvial plains of rivers, peninsula plateau, mountain region, swampy area, sea coast, dense rain forest, deciduous forest, conferious forest in Himalayas and other high region from a vast background from the habitat habitations of wildlife in India. So different type of different forest we have. And according to that forest, according to that zone we can say, we have the different different kind of wildlife in our India. The animals are seen, the, sorry, the animal scenes are Asian elephant, in the peninsular rainforest, one horned rhino in swampy Brahmaputra river, snow leopards in high Himalayas, wild goats and musk deer in Jammu Kashmir, wild buffalo, Indian bison it is called, tiger in central India and West Bengal, gudkha, it is wild ass, khachar we call, in little run of kurch, and flamingo in water logit greater run presence of great Indian bustard is the grassland area is not it again in the water logit area migratory birds from coal region come down in great number so nowadays you can see many many thousands and thousands and lakhs and lakhs Birds are visiting Dal Sarovar, Nal Sarovar area of our Nal Sarovar area of our Gujarat because of too much of coal, they are migrating towards India. These include Siberian cranes, pelican, Tibetan dog, kunch, kakara, etc. Flying squirrels are seen in the dense forest of Western Ghats. Nicobari dove is a rare bird seen in Nicobar Island. Rare species of corals are seen in the Gulf of Kerch and Luxwadip Island. Along with mammals and many types of birds, nodies should be taken of King Cobra, snakes, python, igawa, means pet lagahu, also. Along sea coasts and other water bodies, various fishes, sea snakes, dolphins, sharks, dugong, sea cow, octopus, 
void etc for a part of animal so different different kinds and types of birds and animals are seen coastal animals those animals are living in the sea they are also seen over there apart from that the animals birds are also there those who are visiting india we can say they are they migrate from other countries cold countries to india are also seen over there in our wildlife besides forest animal like fox wolf nilgai deer mongoose rabbits wild hog hedge hog are seen in the agricultural area hedge hog means sera you see that phones thorny animals just it seems like mouse and the whole body of a level is covered with thorns it can kill a python also it can kill a big huge snake also so it is a dangerous one type of animal over there many birds such as nightingale parrot peacock weaver bird chibri pilak vulture kabar dor bagla etc are also seen roaming in this area so where there is agricultural area these all kinds of birds and animals we can see over there now like to know something to be known what like to know crane is the largest bird seen in india in any part of india we can see crane fulsam gahano is the smallest bird seen in india bird wings is the largest butterfly seen in south india siravas well is the smallest butterfly seen in india so different creatures that only are seen in india now wildlife and the need for conservation anything as we had seen in the earlier chapters that we used to we have to preserve and conserve particular type of birds animals land etc many many things. while going through the past it becomes evident that there is a danger to the existence of the wildlife since last few decades as i told earlier the human being is the cunning animal the worst animal that had seen on the earth is ya are human beings before 100 years thousands of tigers were seen in india as per the figure of 2014 given by forest and environment ministry the figure is 2226 Tigers have grown in numbers, which is evident from the imprint of their foot taken during last few years. So, by their foot, the we can count the animals. So, the forest department has counted that there are in 2014, 2014, there were about 2,226 tigers only. This is a good sign. Vultures are on the verge of becoming extinct due to eating the meat, which becomes polluted by diclofenac drug used in the treatment of sick milk cattle. So, diclofenac is a particular type of drugs is given to the animals to and while vulture the animal, the bird, we can say when they use gid in Gujarati, it is gid the bird. I am sorry for this, but just to name they are going to be extinct now they are not more to not, not more seen towards might be in some forest area but especially when they eat the milk of uh, sorry with the meat of the milk giving animals because diclofenac drugs what is it used to do whenever you are feeling ick yeah you are your body start aching doctor used to prescribe this particular type of drug diclofenac and this is the poison for the vulture leopards seen in the forest in the beginning of 20th century have become extinct from india 
One of the Asiatic line of ghee, which was seen even up to the Middle East, are now restricted to ghee forest only. With due staff taken for their production, now their number is 523. Once cranes were seen in large number in Gujarat, but now their number is reduced. Wildlife is an inspirable part of the living organism. But the decrease in their number somewhere and for some years reduces the quality of environment, which is a matter of concern. What is the matter of concern? You as we had seen, forests are decreasing day by day. The use of chemical fertilizers, gases, uh, dangerous gases is becoming more and more and uh, that harms the atmosphere and this atmosphere harms the animals and birds too. Sham God Eagle, a resident of mountains, forest in Gujarat is now rarely seen. Chilotru, seen in the forest of Sabarkanta district, means Vijayanagar Taluka, is rarely seen today. It is obvious that unless human greed and run for progress have made environment imbalanced. Again, the same topic comes that it is obviously that unless human greed, the cruel humanity that is being practiced nowadays, as you had earlier seen, you have gone through recently two days of newspaper that how particular people attack the parliament of america the white house too so everywhere we can see the riots and these all things are running over killings murders something for the lush of the human beings might be there a third world war not we cannot uh, predict but it might which would bring adversity. Still, there is a time. If proper action is not taken, then the next generation would see the wildlife only in pictures. So the greediness of human beings will will what? Will affect the world. Just in new generations will just see the yeah, this is a lion, this was a crane, like we are going through dinosaurs and other animals. We, we can just see. The animative, yeah, the animation films and pictures of these dinosaurs might it happens with the other animals too. Now, important national park and sanctuaries of India. So, for the preservation, for the conservation of these birds and animals, government has done a very good thing that they have made. A particular area, national parks and sanctuaries, so they, uh, the animals and birds and reptiles could be protected from these cunning human beings. Please uh, write down IMP uh, for this chart, particular this box, because it will obviously come in your map, map the following, fill in the blanks, etc. Might it come in your questions, short questions, one line question, two line questions too. So let's study what are they. Kaziranga stands in Assam and Shankshuri it has. Kaziranga National Park, Assam, Shankshuri are rhino, wild, buffalo and deer. Thar Desert, Rajasthan. Desert wolf, desert cat, bastard. Kanha in Madhya Pradesh, tiger and antelope. Antelope, as you see, crocodile. It's a uh, just like that of crocodile. Gir National Park, Gujarat, lion, leopard, cheetah. Vilagar Kaliar Park. National Park, Gujarat it is, it is in Gujarat, Gir National Park also is in Gujarat, Velaudar Kariyar National Park is also in Gujarat, Black Buck, Wolf, Peacock, Kevaldev, Bharatpur, Rajasthan, Birds, Migratory and Local, 
Bandipur in Karnataka, elephant, bear, hog, wild Dalchingam in Kashmir, Hamur, Kashmir deer, musk deer. Corbat is in Himalayan foothills, tiger, elephant, leopard, deer, etc. So we can indicate some in this uh, uh, map also it has been indicated where these national parks and sanctuaries are located. It will be asked in your map too. So study the map properly. Now dangers to the wildlife. What are the dangers? A question mark has been put against the existence of the entire wildlife due to the human greed and development in recent times. On examining the reason, it is understood that the wildlife has become unprotected as they have lost their natural habitat due to continuously decreasing forest. So what are the dangers for them? Because the, as earlier I told, forests are being decreasing day by day. Apart from that, hunting carried out to get skin, meat, teeth, hair and bones is a big problem. So hunting also seems to be the dangerous for the existence of the wildlife. Due to heavy grazing by domestic animals in the forest, herbivores are deprived of their food which result in decrease in the numbers. It will deprive carnivores of getting their food. So these carnivores reach human settlement in search of food and attack animals and human beings too. If herbivorous animals they don't get do, uh, their food properly then how the carnivores will get. So recently as you go in news, newspaper etc that lion have attacked, tiger attacked, leopard came into the village and attacked so and so people and this all thing. Why? Because they are not getting their food in the forest because of lots of cattle grazing in the forest area so there is a lack of food for the herbivorous animals too as they approach human settlement situation of conflict arise between wild animals and human settlements this conflict leads the destruction of wildlife besides these their efforts on pollution is also very adverse due to human activities. In every case, you will find human beings as guilty. Obviously, you will find the human being as a guilt because human being all is the only animal on the earth that affects it. So we'll continue with this thing. I would like to finish this chapter if possible. Like to know there is a sharp decrease in the number of domestic sparrows, lions in the state animals, and flamingo in the state bird of in Gujarat. Lion is a state animal and flamingo is a state bird of Gujarat. Ascetic lion, good curl, violet, and patti lizard are found only in Gujarat in India. Wild buffalo, Indian bison, elephant, cheetah, large Indian squirrel, tiger, etc., have become extinct in Gujarat. Desert sanctuary of Kutch has the largest area among the sanctuary in Gujarat. Purbandan bird sanctuary is the smallest sanctuary in the Gujarat. Due to this decrease in the forest area, the wild animals occasionally come with the human habitations. Human interference in the area of wild animals result into clashes with them. Yeah, clashes with them. Sorry. In such incidents, wildlife become victim of human rage and lose their lives in south and southeastern India. Elephants coming to search food for great havoc in the agriculture field. Incidences of injury or killing men by leopards take place in Saurashtra and South Gujarat and by wolf in the forest of northern eastern Gujarat. A, protection, a precaution is necessary to prevent such disaster. In search of food, elephants, tigers, lions, leopards, wolves, they come to towards the human habitat and creates a disaster yeah, problem. Now remedies to conserve wildlife, with what are the remedies? 
A long term planning is necessary to conserve and increase forest area. We shall have to be more dedicated to implementing strong legal provisions and a strict implementation for the conservation of the forest area and wild animals. Various social NGOs should give this a top priority and arrange public awareness programs. This program should be included in the school syllabus and make the future citizen aware. Before implementing any development project, its probable effect to the environment and living organisms should be examined. Cutting of large trees outside the forest area should be stopped because the hollow space within them and their branches are nesting place of birds. Ponds farm and wetland, which are necessary for migratory birds and for those which are habited near any water body should be protected and attractive yeah, active work is urgently needed to reduce pollution to manage the forest fire and accessibility planning should be made for patrolling and safety so these are the remedies to conserve the wildlife steps taken to nurture the wildlife how, how we can nurture it the wildlife. Since early times, laws have been framed in the country to protect the wildlife. Laws were framed to protect the wildlife in the time of great Maurya King Ashok. Fundamental duties of citizen and directive principles in the constitution also include this thing. Parliament has passed the Wildlife Conservation Act according to the recommendation of Indian Wildlife Board in 2014. There are five not three sanctuaries. 102 national parks and 14 bio reserves. Of these 22 sanctuary, 4 national parks and 1 bio reserves zone happen to be in Gujarat. Some protection schemes are planned for the species which are other extinctions. Let us know about some of these protections. So, the government also has prescribed many rules, regulations, national parks, sanctuary, biodiversity, etc. So, let's prove. Project Tiger. To Project Tiger, Project Tiger was implemented by the government. This project was launched in 1973 against hunting and decreasing number of the tiger. This was implemented for nine reserved area, under which now 48 areas are covered. Line project. There was a time when acidic lime were found up to the Iran in the Asian subcontinent. Due to the hunting and reductions in forest area, these lines are now restricted to Gir forest of Saurashtra Peninsula. At one stage, the number had gone below 100. In 1972, a project was started in Gir to protect the Asiatic line. As a result of this project and timely taken steps, there are now 5 timely 2, 23 lines according to the line census held in. 2015. So, further in ancient time, we could see lion from here, India to Iran. But now, only the Savarashtra area concerned, the Gir area is the residential place of lion. And we have the less quantity of lion, less numbers we can see. In addition to these, there are other projects also, major projects among them are Hangul projects from the rare species of Barasinga deer in Kashmir, crocodile projects for saline water crocodile, rhino projects for the protection of Indian rhino and snow leopard project. Wildlife conservation is possible only if the society and the government show for the determinations to take steps in the right directions. Along with the development, we shall have to be dedicated to confer a motto of environment preservation. So by this, our efforts with the government, we can preserve, we can save many, many lives of the wildlife means animals, birds, mammals, reptiles, etc. Now, National Parks of Gujarat like to know, Gir National Park established in 1975. 2,000 point, or sorry, 258.71 square kilometer, Junagad. Lion, leopard, chitil, hyena, antelope, chikara, and crocodile. Number two, Black Bog National Park, 1976, 34.08 square kilometer, Bhavnagar. Black Bog, Wolf, Kanmore, and Bust. 
Vasta National Park, 1979, 23.99 square kilometer. Now, sorry, Leopard, Haina, Chitil, Chao Singh. Marine National Park, 1982, about 162.89 square kilometer. Gulf of Kutch, Jamnagar district. To sea horses, corals, jellyfish, octopus, oyster, dolphin, dudam. So government is also helping us. We should, it's our duty to preserve these creatures, these living things that are gifted by God to us. It's our right to preserve these birds, animals and the wildlife too with the natural vegetations of India. So it's our duty it's our moral duty, it's our right that we do so. Till then, I would like to thank you for access. Thank you, thank you very much.